Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today I would like to thank all my subscribers, 400 and something subscribers, and all my viewers that's watching my videos. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the videos. And today, during this pandemic, we're gonna cook something real easy. We're cooking the beef round tip sirloin roast. Today, my greetings today, I'll be using this roast. It's five red potatoes this hot pep hot yellow pepper orange pepper green bell pepper one carrot one teaspoon of seasoned salt one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of garlic powder i'll be mixing all that together rubbing it on here and one cup of water i'll be using also I'll be doing it in this power exhale. Like I say, I'll be doing a lot of demonstrating on this power exhale for the people that have got power exhale for Christmas. And today I'll be showing you how to cook different things in it. Today the power exhale is nice and clean. I'm going to put it on roast and I'm going to set it to 375 my timer I'm going to set to 375 but I'm going to put it on roast and it's on roast I'm going to hit timer and I'm going to set it for start it off with 40 minutes like I say you can start it off little so that way if you need time need to add time you can always add time to it but if you set it up higher first you cannot take the time from it so I'm going to close it and press it. I want to put it on 375, 375, and I'm going to close it and let it preheat. I'm going to press start. So that way it preheat. After it preheat, it will say add food. I will be adding the meat. In the meantime, I will be mixing up all my greetings together right now, all my little seasoning, and it mix it up so when I put it on this roast and it'd be nice and good i'm just going to add up all this together like that while it's preheating i'm just going to take my hand and mix that up my hands is clean mix it up good like that so we get a nice taste and i'm just going to sit this roast down like this and i'm just going to take my time and put it on the front side. Get it all on the side and everything. You want to get it everywhere and let that just soak in like that. Like I say, that power exhale, I have, if you have been watching my videos, I've been doing a lot of cooking on it, different things on it. And for all my viewers that don't have a power exhale, I'll be cooking other ways too. So continue to watch. I'm gonna cut my red potatoes into four. So I'm gonna put them in there with it. I'm gonna just slice them into four and I'm gonna put them right in there with it since the potatoes is a little longer than the rest of the vegetables. And I'll be putting the rest of the vegetables in later. Right now, I say add food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to pour my one cup of water in here. One cup of water in there. And I'm going to take my roast and sit it in. And I'm just going to put my potatoes all around it. Put my potatoes in so they could be nice and soft and ready to cook. Put my potatoes in. As you see it's in, I'm gonna press start and it's ready to go. Okay, as you see, this is gonna be my first time opening it on the front side. You see it's circulating. It's time for me to open and see what it looked like. We're going to look at this sirloin roast together. I'm going to press cancel. As you know, I had set it for 40 minutes. 
We're gonna look at it together and see how it looked for the first time on 40 minutes. And like I say, the roast is, is nice and brown on this side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out and I'm turning it on the back side. As you see, the front side look pretty good. I'm turning on the back side. So when I preheat it and get the back side, I'm going to take all these potatoes out. As you see, I think the potatoes is, 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 the potatoes is done. So I'm going to take these out and set them on the side of the rows. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over. Close my top. Now I'm going to turn it back on roast. And I'm going to sit the roast on. It's on roast. I'm going to press timer. And I'm going to set my time. This time I set the back time, the back side on 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I'm going to set it. I'm setting on 25 minutes and I'm gonna press timer. And then, and then I'm gonna turn this up to, I'm gonna turn this to 75, 375 the temperature. It's on 375. I'm gonna press start and it's gonna preheat. I say add the food, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the sun on roast over on the back side, let the front be up. And I'm adding a couple more potatoes in here. Because while I was cutting, my kids loved the potatoes. They almost ate all the potatoes up already. It was cooked so good, seasoned so good. So I'm just gonna add a couple more in there. And I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna drop them in there like that. Put them in like that. All of them is in there. So now, and then I'm gonna put to the top, I'm gonna add one more potato and press start. And I'm gonna let that cook for 25 minutes before I put the vegetables in and everything. As I was saying, I'm gonna take you step by step as it circulate, it circulate, it's time to open it up. I'm gonna press cancel, and I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna see what it look like. As you see, the back side is cooked. So I'm gonna take it out, and I'm gonna cut some of it and see what it look like. I'm gonna take these potatoes out, Take these potatoes out. They just, they done too. Take all of them out and everything. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, as you see, I cut it in half. And some of you like your sirloin roast medium red. This right here is medium red and everything. But I like mine well done. So I'm gonna put it back in for about four minutes. And I'm gonna add my vegetables into it so they don't they don't burn. So this is the time you add your vegetables in it so it'd be nice and moist too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add just a little more water. Like I said, I'm gonna take you step by step. And I'm gonna set it on preheat, and I'm gonna set it for five minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it. Um, roast. It's on. It's on roast. Timer. I'm gonna set the time for five minutes. Set it right here on five minutes, and and I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press the temperature what I want it on. I'm put it on three seventy five. 375, like I say, you can, and I'm gonna press start. You can always add time to it, but you can't take time from it. If you go at a low start first, 
that way you wouldn't burn your food. You wouldn't be wondering how I burn my food. Your wife wouldn't be mad. The kids wouldn't be mad. But if you just go on a low, slow timer and then add time to it, everything come out beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna open it now. And it say add the food. So like I say, I'm gonna let my let it get just a little, a little more brown. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all these vegetables in with it. So they won't burn last minute for five minutes, so they still be good. As you know, I'm gonna be taking you step by step. So you can see when I open it up, so you get an idea how it really look. And I'm just gonna put it in like this. I'm gonna just put that all the way in. And I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna press start. As you can see, it's finished, it's circulating. I'm gonna press cancer. And I'm gonna open it up. And as you see, I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna sit it right here. As you can see, it's nice and brown. I'm gonna take that out like that and I'm just gonna scoot these vegetables. They nice and soft, crunchy. So I'm gonna put these, leave that in for a minute to slice this up. And this is the sirloin tip roast. You have your veggies, potatoes, and everything, and that's cooking with the bells. We did it again.